All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we're gonna be in the 147 pound division where Jose Benavidez made a serious claim relative to Errol Spence Jr., which has now been at least seemingly discounted by statements that Errol Spence Jr. had made himself. However, to be clear, Errol did not respond to Jose Benavidez. Errol Spence Jr. let people know what happened in the first place. And Jose Benavidez is the one, apparently, that is switching up the story and making up allegations about his success with Errol Spence Jr. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we are gonna talk about a fighter that is participating in what I would call kicking a dog while he's kicking a man while he's down kicking a man while he's down and that is jose benavidez who in the lead up to his fight which more than likely is going to be a whooping <laughs> and he's the one that more than likely is going to get whooped by jamal charlo let some information out and claims out about the former unified champion at 147 Errol Spence Jr. Now, I was going to leave this alone until reports came out that Errol Spence Jr. had responded to the statement that was made by Jose Benavidez. And when I did my research, I was a little bit disappointed because he didn't respond to it. However, it's almost a situation where it is six on one hand, half dozen the other, because Errol Spence Jr. months ago had talked about what took place between he and Jose Benavidez. Now, before I get into the details of it, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you're a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, Thank you so much for your continued support. Um, but let's get into this. Jose Benavidez says to Ellie Sethback that he has sparred Errol Spence Jr. and that Terrence Crawford was not the only person to have knocked down Errol Spence Jr. Now, if you recall and I'm sure you do, Errol Spence Jr. fought Terrence Crawford back on July 29th, and Errol Spence Jr. was stopped in the ninth round. I do believe that he was knocked down in three separate rounds. So without a doubt, that part of what Jose, Pedro Jose Benavides said is accurate. There is somebody that knocked down Errol Spence Jr. He, however, claimed, didn't claim directly but said, well, let's put it this way. Let's put it this way. He's not the only person to have knocked down Errol Spence. Now, here's the problem. Errol Spence Jr. talked about this months before. And when he was asked a question at a press conference about Jose Benavidez, he said, yeah, Jose's been, Jose Benavidez is a good fighter, but I sparred him and I punished him in sparring. Punished him in sparring. This was months ago. Now, again, what sparked my attention was that people uh, in my comment section, people uh, doing videos are saying that Errol Spence responded to what Jose Benavidez said. And that's really not the case. It is more accurate to say that Errol Spence Jr. had previously confirmed that he and given an account of the sparring with Jose Benavidez and said what he what happened 
his side of what happened with Jose Benavidez. And he said that he that he washed him, that he punished him, that he did what he wanted to do with Jose Benavidez, which apparently doesn't jive with the subsequent story that was told by Jose Benavidez, which was that he had knocked down Errol Spence. I don't like any of this sparring stuff. But what Errol said, and I have to say this, what Errol said is not a denial of what Jose Benavidez said. First of all, Errol said it first, well before Jose said that. You can't respond to somebody three, four months before the man says something, so it's not a response. However, it is also not mutually, they, they both can be true at the same time. You literally can beat the tar out of somebody, they may slip up and hit you when you get knocked down. It could have been a flash knockdown. It could have been, Arrow could have been knocked off balance. And if a real referee was there, he wouldn't have called it as a knockdown. So not saying that Jose Benavidez, just because uh, Arrow Spence Jr. said months before that he uh, washed, uh, washed and punished Jose Benavidez, that it's not true that Jose B Benavidez knocked him down. People get knocked down. And when you're in a sparring match where there is no official referee, you don't know what could have happened. Jose Benavidez could have shoved him, could have hit him with a punch and then shoved him. Arrow could have lost his balance and, and his glove could have touched the ground. You just don't know. Don't know at all. All we know, though, and the only verified fact here is that they both said that they sparred each other. Now, I do believe, however, that this is a case of kicking a man while he's down with Jose Benavidez and Jose Benavidez trying to do a lot of loud talking, a lot of smack talking in the head of in, in, heading into the fight with Jamal Charlo. Because let me assure you this, man. Jose Benavidez got whooped by Terrence Crawford. Jose Benavidez got whooped by Danny Garcia. And if Jamal Charlo is not a absolute shell of himself, He's going to get whooped by Jamal Charlo, too. The only hope that he has in a fight with Jamal Charlo is that Jamal Charlo, had, because of his two years out of the ring, is extremely, extremely rusty. He's lost his reflex, and he's a shadow of what he was before he took that layoff. Other than that, Jose Benavidez is one of the biggest limp lip bumpers that there is in all of boxing. Though I got to say, I'm really getting tired of all the sparring talk. Really getting tired of all the, well, I got a tape of it. Errol said, Errol said he got a tape too. So you're going to bring out a tape. He's going to bring out a tape. tape. And do this, all of this tape stuff very rarely pans out. Very rarely pans out. You see a lot of people playing games with the tapes of the sparring. And I won't go into the names of it because it would almost be like I was taking shots at people. But I'm just, it's just a silly type of thing, bro. Jose Benavidez did not beat Errol Spence Jr. in the ring. It, he said he knocked him down. Errol said he Errol said he punished him. At the end of the day, man, if they, two of those guys ain't going to get in the ring, who cares? Errol has a fight with Terrence Crawford, and Jose Benavidez got a butt whooping waiting on him on Saturday from Jamal Charlo, unless Jamal Charlo is completely past it. But let me tell you what I believe, that... Jamel Charlo, Jamel, Jamal Charlo, the guy Jose Benavidez is fighting, if he is at his absolute best and at his sharpest, ain't none of those dudes beating him. But that's my take on the matter. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.